Hi, I will talk about my project. It is Enquist problem solutions. The first one is with backtracking, other one is with genetic algorithms. So let's start by talking about what is the Enquist problem. This problem is about finding an arrangement of Enquists on a chessboard such that no queen can attack any other queens on the board. The chess queens can attack in any directions as horizontal, vertical, and diagonal way. And queen's problem with backtracking. The algorithm is place the queen's column wise, start from the leftmost column. If all queens are placed, return true and print the solution matrix. Else, try all the rows in the current column, check if a queen can be placed here safely. If yes, mark the current cell in the solution matrix as Q and try to solve the rest of the problem recursively. If placing the queen in the above step leads to a solution, then return true. If placing the queen in the above step does not lead to a solution, backtrack. Mark the current cell in the solution matrix as X, which means it is an empty cell, and return false. If all the rows are tried and nothing worked, return false and print no solution. You can see a demonstrations of Enquist problem with backtracking where n equals 4. Safe function. Safe function is really important for backtracking algorithm because in here we check if it's safe to place a queen in the board. So first of all, we check row and then upper diagonal and then lower diagonal. We check if the current cell is includes a queen. If it includes a queen, then return false because we cannot replace the queen with a queen. Backtracking function. Backtracking function is the main function of backtracking algorithm. In here, we use backtracking to find all solutions. We start from the leftmost column. If all queens are placed, simply return. Try all the rows in the current column. Check if a queen can be placed here safely. If yes, mark the queen with Q mark, which is a char, and solve the rest of the problem recursively. A matrix is used to display the positions of N queens where no queens can attack any other queens. On the left, you can see the result of N queens problem with backtracking where N equals 8. And quiz problem with genetic algorithms. In my genetic algorithm, I use the structure called master and slaves. In here, master creates a task and divides the task into pieces and gives these pieces to slaves. Slaves are working on the task and master is waiting for the slaves to finish. This task is controlled by the masters. First of all, create an initial population. Evaluate the initial population and run crossover operator. Create slaves. While not done, start slaves. Wait for slaves to finish. Run mutation operator and end it. Algorithm for slaves. In a loop, select three individuals. Evaluate the mutation. If a solution found, set down true and end it. This function is really important for genetic algorithm because in here we try to find the queen conflicts and the fitness value. The fitness value is really important because we chose the solutions from population according to, the, to their fitness values. So for a simple method of finding conflicts, consider an interval. It goes q1 to qn, i-th and j-th queens share a diagonal if i minus qi equals j minus qj, i plus qi equals j plus qj, where n equals the tuple length. So here you can see my main function for genetic algorithm. I defined a boolean flag. When I find a solution, I will set it true. If necessary, do the crossover. While I'm in generation limit, when a random number is smaller than the crossover rate, do the crossover. Solution fitness is an array for fitness values of solutions. If a chromosome has the maximum fitness value, then print it. Create a board, mark empty cells with X, and mark queen cells with Q, and set solution exists true, and then break it. Else, print the generation maximum fitness value and sum of the fitness values, and increase the generation. If solution exists, just break it. 
Then you can see a probability for the random sample. This random sample is for masters. I am creating masters and I am creating slaves from these masters and I am setting solutions to the slaves. So after this, I am doing exactly the same thing with my solutions array. And when I find a solution, I will set it true and I will print the solution. If still no solution exists, then print the message below. So a matrix is used to display the positions of n queens where no queens can attack any other queens. On the left, you can see the result of n queens problem with genetic algorithm where n equals 8. You can see the array of queens positions which has raised square around it. This number is just indexes of queen cells. After solving the problem array, turn it into a matrix array board and you can see the matrix array board in the left. So I will compare genetic algorithm with backtracking. First of all, memory. Genetic algorithm needs a lot more memory than backtracking. It has lots of arrays and variables and it has lots of operation. But in backtracking algorithm, there are only backtracking and save method that significantly matters. So we can say genetic algorithm need more memory than backtracking. So in terms of memory, backtracking beats the genetic algorithm. Performance of computation. For small n, they run on pretty much the same time, but for bigger n, genetic algorithm beats the backtracking. I should say, since there are mutation and crossover situations which are random based operations in genetic algorithm, you always may not get the answer in the same time. Success rate. Both algorithms can find the solution correctly, but since there are mutation and crossover situations which are random based operation in genetic algorithm, you always may not get the answer in the first try. Also, in backtracking algorithm, it takes big amount of time to provide solutions for bigger n, where n is the number of queens. Implementation. Implementation of genetic algorithm is more difficult than backtracking because in backtracking, once you implement the backtracking method, it is done. But in genetic algorithm, you should put much more effort to implement. Perspectives. As you can see the table below, genetic algorithms has gene and backtracking algorithm has element. Genetic algorithm has chromosome and backtracking algorithm has individual. You, you can see the populations are same, but in genetic algorithms, we have generation and in backtracking algorithm, we have iteration. In genetic algorithm, we have number of generations, but in backtracking algorithm, we have maximum number of cycles. In genetic algorithm, we have probability of crossover and mutation, but in backtracking algorithm, we don't have such random based operations. Also, genetic algorithm uses a probabilistic method to find a solution and backtracking algorithm use a deterministic method to find a solution. So I can say they have different perspectives. As a summary, backtracking beats genetic algorithm in terms of memory and easy implementation and genetic algorithms beats backtracking in terms of performance and sometimes success rates. Difficulties in backtracking, you need to wait much more longer to get a solution and that can be a pain. And that is why I'm saying genetic algorithm beats backtracking in terms of sometimes success rate. And for example, for n equals 30, where n is the number of queens, I waited like 10 minutes to get a solution in backtracking algorithm and I still get, didn't get it, so I just closed it. In genetic algorithm, sometimes you need to run again to get a solution and you may not always get the solution at the same amount of time. So that is all I had to say. Thank you for watching.